Hello and welcome to Matalan Presents The Show with me, Denise Van Outen. As the nights start to draw in, let us perk you up with all the brightest ideas for a happy life and home. Coming up, pop star turned master chef Rachel Stevens and loose women's Andrew McLean share their thoughts on the secret of happiness. Plus, cosy but chic looks for every winter occasion. And how to turn your home into a hookah haven. That's warm and cosy to you and me. But first, can you really dress yourself happy? Sometimes life can get so busy and hectic that it's hard to find time to just stop and smell the coffee. Is the secret to happiness just taking time to enjoy the simple things in life? Well, let's ask two women who always have smiles on their faces. The fabulous Rachel <laughs> Stevens and Loose Woman star, Andrea McLean. Welcome to the show. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Good to have you back. Now, you're both smiley, happy people. So would you say that you found the secret to happiness? I think it's all about being in the moment and mm -hmm. being grateful for what you have around you. And because like you said, life is so fast and so busy and it's just about surrounding yourself with people you love and, you know, yeah. just being in present and in the moment. And I think, you know, if, if I'd found this, the secret to happiness, I'd have bottled it and be living on a yacht somewhere, I think, with something <laughs> yeah. that we're all sort of searching for. But for me, I think it's, it's learning to just let stuff go. It's my mm. favourite song from Frozen, and it, it's for let a reason. It it's all about just learning to let it go. And yeah. do you think it's also just appreciating, enjoying the simple things in life? Because that is what makes you happy, ultimately, isn't it? I think yeah. stop chasing perfection. And there's always so much, uh, so many things to aspire to, but I think it's just appreciating what you've got and just the simple things. Yeah, and just simple things like and... food, for instance, Rachel. Oh, yes. <laughs> Talking yeah. food, master yeah. chef. Yes. Has it been a fabulous experience? Amazing experience. I'm such a massive fan of the show and I'm such a big foodie. I love food, but cooking has never been my forte. So my husband was so excited when I said I was going to be on it. I'm definitely more confident in my cooking now. So... Um, I've got my speciality dishes now, so wow. it's all good. Yeah. Oh, You'll have to cook for odd... us. Yeah, I have to have you over. <laughs> I was asked party. years ago, what's my speciality dish? And I said, stir-fry packet noodles. <laughs> Mine would just be a, a baked potato. <laughs> yeah. That's not really going to cut it, is it, on master chef? <laughs> <laughs> and then what about you, Andrew? I mean, you've got some big news, haven't you, that you've been sharing this year, which is so exciting. Yeah, I have. I, I've got engaged, yeah. which is lovely. Aww. Really lovely. Aww, We're so, so thrilled thank for you. you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Right, now let's talk about clothes then, because do you believe that you can dress yourself happy? I've personally always loved fashion. It's always been a... When I left school, I went to the London College of Fashion. It's, all, I, it's actually the career path I thought I was going to go down. And it's just fun. And I do think it can make you feel different things. It can change your mood completely. It can change your mood. And if you've not got an outfit on that you feel yourself in, you can definitely, you know, not feel yeah. yourself. If I'm feeling tired and, you know, life's been too busy or hectic, if I put anything on that's brightly coloured... Um, and I know in, in my old kind of weather days when I was getting up for breakfast TV, when you get up at half three, it's really hard to feel cheerful. <laughs> so red, I always wore red and that would kind of brighten the mood and in my eyes, it would distract the viewer from actually how tired the face was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even sometimes exactly. just a splash of colour, like yes. your top, Rachel, yeah. that's got a happy feel to it, hasn't it? Yeah, Talk us exactly. through what you're wearing. I think, well, I love a little bit of... I never used to actually wear prints and florals and it's actually really on trend at the moment, isn't it? So, yeah, it's nice to... Um, Add a little bit of colour. And yeah. I do love, actually, I have got a lot of black in my wardrobe. So I really like the sleeve as well. If you love this sleeve. I, I love it. And I, and I love a, a three-quarter length sleeve. Uh, I think it's a very feminine length, actually, three-quarter yeah. sleeve, because it drapes really nicely. Yeah. And denim never goes out of fashion. Oh, I'm a massive jeans girl. I love my jeans. And it's, you know, when you're out and about with the kids and you're mm. running around, it's like my go-to, just a pair of jeans a top and a jacket, a blazer or whatever. Thing. Exactly. And of course, you've got the, the a similar floral blouse on, but you're also wearing jeans as well, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, 2017 for me is going to be the year where I finally got turned on to print because I've always been classic sort of block colour and that's always been my sort of go-to. But there's such incredible fabrics out there now. Yeah. To, to, like this, for example, it's got the, the print on it. I don't know if you can see, it's actually sheer. It's you really nice. Stand up for uh, you. Yeah, give stand you, up. Give, give us give a twirl. You, I'll give, I'll lo <laughs> I love coming on here and giving a twirl. <laughs> um, there's quite a lot going on with it in terms of, in terms of the, the fabric, but it is sheer enough so you can see a little bit of a hint of skin. And I think that it kind of relaxes you a little bit. It's not too overpowering. Yeah. These absolute, these are my favourite jeans ever. They come in the black and the blue 
They're nice and high waisted, so you don't get any mum tum. Mm -hmm. It sort of holds you, you in. High waist. And the um, the elastic's really strong. Yeah, the denim's so it good. Holds you in, and don't it you holds find with its the high shape. waist, it's lengthening, isn't it? It makes you. Yeah. You've got lovely long legs anyway, but it makes you feel. Yeah. But it also, they, all these, they cut you off at the wrong point. For a woman, we're made to have our jeans. We here. like to have them nice and fitted here. Yeah. And, I, and I also really love the colours, I have to say, which is bang on trend this season. That Definitely. lovely wine colour mixed with that gorgeous pink. Lush pink. It's amazing. I think I'm feeling yeah. really good now, thank you. You do, you I'm look fantastic. For the rest of the show. <laughs> and it's all about the cut of a, uh, a top, isn't it? And even if it's got a print on it, it can still be classic. Yeah. I love this outfit. It's from the Soon range. And you've tried other key pieces from the range, haven't you? I have. There's some great pieces in there. Obviously, print is something that's worked right the way throughout the year. And it's going to be huge uh, through the autumn winter season. It's really exciting. Fantastic. Really exciting. Now, dressing. let's not forget feet as well. And in particular, I love your shoes. I've got my eye on them. Love them. Mm. These, do you know, these are a staple. And one of the things I love about them is that you can team them up with anything. I've got them with, with a pair of jeans. Uh, so they're great for dressing up an outfit. But, you know, as we're getting into party season, you, you need a pair of shoes that you're comfy in and look absolutely amazing from car to bar. I've gone for the comfort. Uh, because I just wanted to wear something with nothing too high. So these are really comfortable. But this is really on boot. trend, actually. The, um, I don't know what you call it, like the sock boot. Yes, it it's is. It's going to be really big, apparently, for autumn, winter. And it, it is nice elasticated and as well. It looks so soft. soft. And li literally, it's like wearing slippers, but stylish slippers, because mm. they're so comfortable. I love them. But I do love your shoes as well. We might have to do we a can do shoes. Swap. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you, ladies. Still to come, how to turn your home into a hooger haven. Keep watching, all will be explained soon. But first, can you dress cosily and with style? It's time for a winter fashion fix. As winter approaches, one thing that makes me happy is adding some new knitwear to my wardrobe to make sure I'm wrapped up warm even on the coldest days. But is it possible to feel cosy and still look chic? One woman who can help is InStar Magazine's Maddie Spencer. Welcome, Hi. Maddie. Nice to see you again. So what are the key things to consider when you want to look stylish but you still want to dress and be cosy? There are three things that work really well. The first is layering. So the idea is to go from something that's thin, like a thin wool, to a thicker, chunkier knit. Uh, patterns work really well too, patterns and bold flashes of colour. The other thing is to play with size a little bit. So let's say you're wearing a big, chunky cardigan. Put that with skinny jeans, it looks mm. really chic. Nice. Balances it out. Yeah. Do you like cosy clothing? I love cosy clothing and I love layering. I think yeah. that's key. And I love winter dressing, actually. I love big winter coats and... I've got one of my favourite things actually at home is a big a chunky knit, mm. which I just layer over th thin knits yeah. and playing Makes with different feel. textures. Yeah. I get quite yeah. excited when the weather starts to turn. You think, oh, I can get my chunky knits out yeah. and invest in a new one. This yeah. is one of my favourites at the moment. I love the fact that it's got this metallic detail in it, if you have a look, but it's yeah. so cosy and so warm. This really is like yeah. really snug. I it's, love monochrome yeah. as well. Anything black and white. It's so easy to wear from day to night, isn't it? And with the, the metallic going through it, it dresses it up yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's like bronze. But the good thing about wearing the monochrome as well is that you can then add a, a flash of colour. So I've got yeah. this nice skirt mm. that I'm wearing with it as well, which just, this is very bang on trend, this colour, this season. Yeah. So yeah, I like my little outfit. It's great. And also the, <laughs> the pattern draws your eye up slightly so you can get away with eating a bit more at the pub. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good idea. Yeah, well, really we're talking thing. of going to the pub and being all cosy with the girls mm. or with your other half, whoever. Mm. Uh, we're going to talk about outfits that you could wear yeah. on a cosy night in the pub. So this is that. ideal. It's great, isn't yeah. it? And the cold shoulder cutouts just are so chic. It elevates it slightly, makes it look more dressy. And if you want to take it up a notch, just add some really chunky jewellery. Yeah, such nice, a nice way of an evening to feel a bit more dressy, like you said, isn't it? Yeah. So you can still feel warm and cosy, but you've got a little bit of a flash of And with of the heels. It's a great neckline as well. And yeah. those earrings are amazing. Yeah, they look incredible. And again, it just makes it look more evening and more going out. Yeah, yeah, and big ear lovely. earrings are so now, aren't they? Yeah, and they look really light as well. You know, sometimes if they're big, they can feel a bit too heavy, yeah. but they mm. feel nice. They look nice and light. So we've got the cosy night in the pub sorted, but what about when you're at home and you're just lounging around? You still, you still need to look stylish, don't you? You really do. You want to wear something that's like your pyjamas in comfort, but chicer and yeah. still cosy. So what colours are we looking at for at home? Greys are great, and if you get this nice band of white, it looks fantastic, really comfy, really cosy and chic. Again, yeah. that's a really nice neckline. And also mm. that detail on the arms is great. Yeah. And I then love that those... sleeve. I love that flare sleeve as well. It's and great. those are those sweatpants or what's that? They're like a jogger? Jersey. They're a kind of thin jersey. It's really comfy. They're so soft, aren't yeah. they? So soft. Really nice for lounging so at home. And the colours and... together are so nice. 
Particularly, really, I like those shoes looks. as well, those trainers. They're really nice. And I like the... It's kind of like a bow detail, yeah. which makes them a little bit more interesting yeah, than exactly. a normal training yeah, shoe. Yeah, if you have to nip out for some milk, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. That's a great look. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maddie. Rachel. Thank you. That's the wardrobe sorted. Next, how to turn your home into a warm, cosy haven this winter. As the days get colder and the nights draw in, it's time to make sure your home is as cosy as possible. And by just making a few changes to your living space, you'll be feeling warmer in no time. I'm here with Rachel Stevens and Andrea McLean, who's going to show us how to create a hygge haven in our homes. Andrea, first things first, what is a hygge haven? It's such a funny word, isn't it? Because you, you see it written down in articles and, and what have you, all about interior design. And basically what it means is a Scandinavian term, which means comfort and warm and cosy. And in terms of you know, Scandinavian homes, they're normally painted quite crisp, white sort of colours. So Huga is all about um, introducing comfort through textiles, cosy mm. textures and, and that sort of thing. So what can we add to get that Huga feeling in the home? Um, well, just exactly like what you've got there. You've got a lovely um, chenille cushion there. It's really love, soft. Love it's, it's lovely. It's all about mm. snuggling in, especially, like you say, the nights are drawing in. This is when we start really mm. turning to the different textures to start to give, give us some cosy cozy help. up on the sofa. Exactly. It's lovely. With a throw. Yeah, now, I love a faux fur throw. Mm. I've got a few of them sort of dotted about that sometimes I'll put them away during the summer months because you don't really need them then but then winter out they mm. come and they're over the sofa so that you can sit and watch telly and that's a lovely off one too it's actually, isn't really it? nice it's a lovely colour and, and, it's, and it's really thick as well mm. and it's got that it's nice that feeling of fur. Fur. It oozes luxury it's Feels lovely luxe, yeah. Blush, Rachel do you like to get your home all ready for the winter do you like to add like pieces like this oh I love to I'm obsessed with anything interiors and actually I'm just doing um, we're just doing our house up at the moment so we're just now looking at different colours and um, we're doing up Minnie's room at the moment, my little one's room. And But yeah, I love candles, I love lighting. So I'm not massively into spots, I love having lamps and lighting around me. And, and features as well, having some nice yeah. little features, like quirky things like this, yeah. for yeah, instance. Yeah, to which... be honest, this is a, it's a very Scandi look, a very sort of hoogie look, if you like, because it's to do with natural materials. So you've got a mixture there of obviously the pine cones, you've got wicker, wooden table as well. And who doesn't love a fairy light? Oh, I love, love a fairy, fairy light. <laughs> fairy lights are not just for Christmas. They're they not. are for all year round. And does your I Nick agree. like a fairy light? He loves a fairy they, light. I always wonder with men, because women love them, don't they? If they're just walking and go, like, why have we got so many fairy lights? <laughs> he has no choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they never they're shy like away from touch. a candle. No. Everyone loves a candle. Everyone you know, I'm a massive a candle. candle fan. And that's the, another big key, isn't it, trend? is yeah. to have nice candles and candle holders. Definitely. We've got a couple here. And you can see that the glass has been frosted in a really warm tone as well. And you can imagine how beautiful mm. uh, that looks once it's all lit. One, one of the things I think that's great about using multifunctional ornamental pieces is that looks great even when the candle's not lit. So you don't have to put it mm. away when you're not using it. Same with, with the ornament here, with the wicker and the pine cones. For me, anything that can be used to, to multitask that gets a big tick in, in my book. Yeah. So these Definitely. pieces create a nice atmosphere, but what about lighting within the home? Lamps. You've got a beautiful lamp just behind you there. It's quite architectural and it's quite a structural light, but because it obviously you can, you can vary the kind of bulb that you put in, you can mm. angle it so that it's just giving a nice warm focus on a, on a little... Anyway, a corner of a room... And I guess and, it's an mixing ornament. the strong pieces with the really soft pieces. Yeah. And yeah, it's it great. different sort of and dimensions. This is all very new to Massland. This is the new lighting range, which I'm so excited about. And you can buy it online, which is yeah, great. Fantastic. So you can get it to your home Dangerous. delivered. All ready to go. Beautiful. Lovely. Love some fantastic lighting. Thank you for creating yeah. the hygge mood. You're now, welcome. one room that's surely got to be cosier than all the rest is the bedroom. Here's our guide to creating your nighttime hygge haven. Hi, I'm Sophie Milner. I'm a lifestyle blogger and I'm going to be showing you how to transform your bedroom into a hygge haven this winter. One of the easiest ways to inject this trend into the bedroom is by adding lots of layers. When you put faux fur and knitted throws together, you instantly create this cosy look. We spend a third of our lives in bed, so make sure you pick your bed linen really well. Autumnal checks are really in at the moment. I like to go OTT on cushions. You can add interest by mixing colours, patterns and textures. You can extend the hygge look around the room by adding rustic accessories. Remember, plenty of candles and soft lighting will create a warm glow in the room. And there's nothing cosier on a cold winter's morning than a high pile rug. And that's how you create a hygge haven in the bedroom. 
Oh, well, that's made us feel nice and cosy. We've got the perfect throw for it, haven't oh, we? I love it. <laughs> so snuggly, really <laughs> snuggly. Lovely. I'm going to sneak it home. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Rachel. Well, it's been a great show. Be sure to join us next time when I'll be talking winter nights in and winter days out with Martine McCutcheon and Lydia Bright. Bye for now. Get cosy. Yes.